Good morning guys from Timberrock and here I am again with the hummingbird. I'm finally done with it so I thought that I wanted to show you guys how it looks like and it's it's quite cute so yeah that's how this one looks like when it's done so I hope you guys like this one too and then I have started on my next project it's a partial with the lilac with the shiny drills as you can see so that is what I'm working on now so I will just sit down and do a little bit of diamond painting before it also gets too hot because it's it's just so horrible. It's so so hot up here in Denmark and it's just like keeping on with this warm weather. It's just horrible. I just can't take it anymore. I just want some colder weather so so we don't heat up so bad because it, it, it's really bad this year and I normally had a beautiful lawn <laughs> but now mm, yeah I don't have any lawn any anymore. <laughs> now it's just so so hot outside it's just it's horrible so let's turn on the light bit also something with this one as you probably can see I have all the little bags here and uh, I haven't put them in any containers or ziplock bags and that's simply just because I'm out of containers and ziplock bags so what I do is I simply let me take this one as you can see number one then I I put a little bit of tape on it and then I just use these little bags so oops and then just close it down and seal it and as you can see no diamonds are dropping out so that is what I'm doing right now <sighs> now I just wish I had a pool out in my garden. I would just <laughs> be laying out in that one all day long if I had one because this is simply just horrible. Oh I really hope for some colder weather soon and also something that is very bad is for the farmers their crops are so bad this year, they don't produce anything and last weekend my mother-in-law was down by me and my, my boyfriend and we took on a, a little road trip and was out and driving a veteran train because we have one not that far away from where we live so his mom would would like to try and, and go on to that one and we did but when we were driving out there I could just see how bad it was for the farmers also with the ones that had put corn on their fields normally they are higher than me and I'm 160 
and the corns right now they were not higher than a, a meter so yeah it was bad very bad and to be honest I don't think that they get anything out of those corns this year at all so yeah it's bad also something that I'm doing here I have a bird bath and I'm just giving all wild birds every single day fresh water because they really need water in this warm weather too and they just come every single day to to drink and take a little bath and yeah and then I have a little froggy too actually two this year I have two that comes and sit in in the birth bath too so that's very cute um, especially the one of them uh, yeah he's he's so adorable but uh, <laughs> I have a funny story about him and um, that was one year also it was in the summertime because he always comes in the summertime and visit us and uh, it was hot very hot my boyfriend had gone to bed and I was sitting down here in the living room and I was playing one of my MMO back then and I had the terrace door open because it was very hot but I didn't have any light on because I, I didn't want too many mosquitoes to come in and I was sitting there and playing and then suddenly my eye just noticed something and I was sitting in my couch and then I turned my head and guess who was sitting beside me yep Mr. Froggy, he had jumped all the way from my terrace door, all the way over the floor, and jumped up in the couch. And there he was sitting beside me in the couch, looking at me. <laughs> and I suddenly just got so scared. Uh, luckily, he was sitting on the blanket. But I just got so scared, so I took the blanket and threw it down on the ground. And of course, he fell down too but what co was covered by the blanket and then it was just like <laughs> my legs were just up in the couch <laughs> I just got so scared and then I was sitting there calling on my boyfriend and when he came down he was just so angry he says what is it and I was like Mr. Froggy is underneath the blanket please take him out <laughs> because he don't care to pick them up at all so he picked him up and put him outside so after that accident I always in the evening times look at the carpet and see if Mr. Froggy is coming in <laughs> so yeah that was a little bit of a funny story from from me with Mr. Froggy but he is he is so beautiful he is also uh, another time I didn't actually notice that he had come in so in the morning time when I woke up and got down and wanted to open the terrace door he was sitting on um, on the door because there is a, a little bit of um, a wood before it go over to the glass and there he was sitting and looking out <laughs> so yeah I have had much fun with Mr. Froggy so yeah but that was a, just one of my little funny stories with Mr. Froggy, but he is cute, he is cute. And as I said, every year I'm just waiting for him to come back. And this year I was so afraid that he had passed away because he didn't come. And I was just like, where is he? But luckily finally he came so and now even though that we go out on the terrace um, and 
also taking a, a little dog up to, to pee. Well, then you don't even jump up from the birth bath anymore. Um, the other years when we came out, he always jumped up, but it's like just like that. He's so used to us now, so he just keeps sitting in there. So, yeah. He's nice. He's very sweet. I love him. That's something I'm looking forward to every every single year is my Mr. Froggy. <laughs> also, many of my friends have been joking with me and said, have you tried to kiss him? Because he could be a prince. <laughs> and I was like, no, I don't think so. I want to kiss my frog out there. No, no. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh my god, it's so hot. I can't take it. I think I need to go over and sit a little bit by the cooler again because this is horrible and also that it's just so early in the morning. So, and I was just thinking I wanted to do this video before it got too hot because yesterday I was trying to make this video also but my phone just got so hot that it actually shut down. So. I was just thinking, okay, I need to do this in the morning time. So, yeah, that's what I did now. And uh, I will I will keep up the upgrading with this one. And I think I will, yeah, go over and sit by the cooler a little bit and get something cold to drink, some nice cold water. We definitely need a lot of cold water in this heat. So, but um, yeah, I hope you guys like my video and my little story. And if you like what you see, then subscribe and give the videos a thumb up. I would be very happy for that. But um, yeah, I will. See you the next time. So, see you guys and have a nice day.